If you love lemon and creamy lemon sauce, you're gonna totally love this. And it's about as easy as making box mac and cheese and so, so much better. This is all you need to make this pasta and the lemons are really the star. And the way that Barbara Kafka originally wrote this recipe, this was before microplanes were really popular. She peeled off the, the zest with a peeler and then sliced it into thin strips. And that's how I like to do it too, just because it gives a great texture. The pith will taste more bitter than the yellow part up top. This like white spongy part is the part where the, the bitterness hides. But I think a little bit of bitterness in this is a really nice thing. Now you just cut it into, actually I'm gonna stack a few so I'm not cutting all of these individually. Cut it into these pretty thin strips. And I love the texture that this adds when it's twirling around with the noodles and the creamy sauce. But if you're not looking for that, just do the microplane thing. If you don't have a microplane, you can do the box grater thing. And then, I'm gonna just roll these so that they get extra juicy, which is really easy to do once the peel is gone. And these are really big juicy lemons, so I probably am not gonna end up using all of it. I'm gonna start with three to four tablespoons and, and see how that goes. That's all I can juice. <laughs> we have juiced to capacity. So I really do try to taste pasta water and make sure it tastes like seawater. Uh, anytime I don't, I often regret it. All right, salty. If you do it like seawater, it's the, just perfect salting all the way through the noodle. You bring that back up to a boil and just cook it until they're not done because they're gonna have to cook with the sauce a little bit too. So like still have a bit more bite than you want. So while the noodles are cooking, I'm gonna just heat up the cream. Lots of people have asked if they can use half and half or milk or lower fat kinds of dairy. The lower fat your cream is, <laughs> Woo! What I was going to say before my pasta so rudely interrupted me is that the less fat you have in the cream, the higher chance you're gonna have of this sauce not working, of the lemon curdling the cream and it not being a creamy, luscious sauce, but like a curdled mess. So I say commit to the full fat, heavy cream because it's gonna be just so much better. And this is such a successful pepper grinder that that made a lot of black pepper. Now we wait, but not long. This recipe comes from Barbara Kafka, whose recipes make up a lot of Genius Recipe's greatest hits. Her recipes are famously no nonsense. Every ingredient and every step has a purpose, and this pasta is a perfect example of that. Cream is heated, and now it gets to go in and make the sauce. And then, this is where the lemon juice comes in and saves the day because the lemon juice is going to react with the cream as you're stirring it over the pasta and it will thicken the cream and make glorious cream sauce. At first, when you pour it all in, it's gonna be runny like this, which is still probably tasty, but not what you're looking for with a cream sauce. You just wanna like bring it up just enough to a simmer and the lemon juice is going to make the cream thicken, but also the, just the bubbling and kind of reducing of the cream itself is going to help it thicken. Ooh, it's all right, look at it, come check this out. It made its own sauce, and that's why everyone loves it. Now it's time to eat. Because this is a greatest hit, and there's all kinds of good user comments on here, I recommend everyone go and read Kendall's story. I can read you a few excerpts. Kendall writes, I think your enjoyment of this recipe depends on whether you appreciate simplicity. To me, this is the sort of thing cooks come up with at two in the morning. The restaurant is closed, most of the staff is gone. Just as you reach for the light switch, that special person comes back to the kitchen. You know the one. So you make this, simple, direct, as subtle as a velvet wrapped brick through a window. I really wonder if this happened, or <laughs> if this is like, this is a premonition. There, it goes on. 
In summation, Kendall says this is something for a quiet night and a little romance. So the last thing you should do before you go run off and make this crazy 15 minute creamy lemon pasta is go like and subscribe and do all that stuff so that you can get genius recipes like this every week.